What's up, everybody? My name is Andy Mills. Like, comment, and subscribe if you like the content of this video. That being said, let's jump right into it. So this video is basically going over the build that most likely I will be going. Um, I've tried it in the last server slam on Diablo 4. Um, and it's pretty much just a predominantly frost build. I mean, except for one uh, exception, and that's pretty much just utility and um, just making distance for your character as a sorcerer. Um, and it's a frost build. So the leveling is pretty straightforward. Um, I'll have the details like what you'd want to go at, at certain junctions and certain levels at, of your character. Um, but the basis of your ability or your 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 kit is to hit with um, Frostbolt when you don't have mana. Um, you use this to also generate mana. So Frostbolt generates mana when hitting chilled or frozen enemies. So um, so generate mana with frost bolts when you don't have mana up. But besides that is you're you're applying chilled and you're applying slowed or, or chilled and frozen, excuse me, to enemies. And when you apply frozen later on in your build, you start getting a lot of different um, synergies and procs uh, that pretty much boost your uh, your damage. Uh, but you're waiting for that that specific status debuff to be applied on your enemies which is chilled or frozen mainly frozen and there's other skills that will be working off frozen and implying vulnerable uh, vulnerability to enemies when they're frozen uh, and we're going to that so basically in the first couple levels you'll kind of just do one frost ball you can go level two level three here if you want um i would wait a little bit more uh longer to to put points into this um, or to this one, I guess, because you have to put one point here, one point here to unlock this section over here, and then you can get your ice shards, which is your bread and butter for everything. Uh, this is your main spell that you're going to be spamming. Um, maybe you can come back here and put another point if you have, if, if, if you're, if you feel inclined, so you can put the first three levels here and then jump over here, max out ice shards. Um, and then you would want to go ice shards have a 40% chance of ricochet to another enemy. That's just great because that's just more DPS. And then uh, greater ice shards. When you have a barrier active, cast of uh, ice shards treat enemies as if they were frozen, which is great. Um, frozen, they get increased. Uh, tw they get 25% increased damage to frozen enemies. So that's something that you will want. I would wait on this specific modification of this ability until you get ice ice armor. Um, I will say that's one of uh, one of the special cases. And I also would wait on this one, maybe a little bit later into your build maybe level 20 ish getting closer to 20 come back here to put some points into this um so put five points into this get one point into this one right here because so, you want that ricochet then you'll drop down here you'll get your ice shield or your ice armor excuse me and then once you get ice armor get this greater ice shards which then treats every uh every enemy as if they were frozen for the sense of uh, getting that extra 25 percent damage um get this uh three glass cannon ranks and again I'll, I'll have like the skill order in the description box i just it's you can kind of mess around with it if you if you if you want um but this is kind of like the end build of what, what i'm going for um so you just want to put one point into this so you get the barrier so you can get this proc up here and the interaction and then the next thing after ice armor i would recommend is either going the glass cannon like i said or maybe even going to frost armor or, or frost armor frost nova which unleashes a torrent of frost freezing enemies around you for three seconds again freezing enemies we want that freeze because uh it applies vulnerability and things like that um killing enemies or, or they just keep they also keep the enemies in, in place and allowing you to move around and maybe uh creating a gap for yourself if they, if they corner you killing enemies frozen by the frost number reduces its cooldown by one second so up to four seconds per cast which is great it's a 19 second uh cooldown at um at this point um, so you can bring that down even more. And then Frost Nova makes enemies vulnerable for four seconds, increased to six seconds against bosses, which is awesome. More damage, right? More DPS. And then this is uh, pretty much uh, just great for survivability. Again, this is a uh, teleportation, unstoppable, and it gives you, uh, it creates space between you and enemies if you're getting cornered. And then you can go, you can go for these two modifiers. I would say a little bit later, you won't really need this again this is just like more survivability not really dps if you find yourself in a dungeon boss that you're having trouble because they just you know appear I've, I've fought a couple dungeon bosses that were 
super up close into your face and as a sorcerer if you're doing pve by yourself not really with a group this can really just like save you nine times out of ten 100 percent. anyways uh all and i don't know if i mentioned this but always go enhance ice armor it just increases your your mana regeneration when you have your ice armor up just always go that you'll pretty much skip this area um you don't want to get this pre uh, precision magic or this stuff right when you're able to i would just wait on it you won't need this until you get where is it you won't need this like a uh, lucky hit chance increase until you get this right here which is snap freeze so first you would have to get a point into this and a point into this so now your lucky hits actually do something for you so the mechanic of lucky hit uh, i explained it in, in another video is lucky hits and critical strikes are two different mechanics in diablo 4. i can't speak to that if for diablo 3 or anything like that but lucky hit in diablo 4 is kind of like a think of a d20 roll of a dice if you hit a certain number on that dice up uh, it procs an effect but if you don't have an ability that procs with lucky hit you're just getting a lucky hit but nothing actually happens whereas if it's critical strike think of the same nature of that a d20 hits if you roll over a 15 or whatever that number is in the game you get increased damage you get a crit you get a critical hit so there's two different mechanics essentially so once you get this lucky hit and then you can obviously level it up to increase so it goes 369 damage so frost skills have a up to a nine percent chance to instantly freeze which is great because it procs with pretty much everything else or just it's great because you get more dps you can space out yourself if, you're getting, if people are getting close to you things like that once you get this snap freeze that's when you would want to go back up here put max into this which is your lucky hit chance is increased by 15 percent. does that make sense i hope so if not you guys will go in the comments and you will destroy me because that's youtube anyways <laughs> Another thing I recommend is just to get this to go over here, which is protection using a cooldown grants 25 or uh, 20 percent of your maximum life as a barrier for 20 uh, for two seconds. Again, more barrier, more survivability. Is, that's just great in the long run. Um, this synergizes with that barrier and your ice armor up here. When you have a barrier active, you apply 25, 24 percent more chill. More chill is great, which means you apply uh, frozen more often when you have barriers up. And then again, this. Your barriers uh, have a 15% increased duration that just synergizes with both of those. It won't really mean a lot in the long run, but you know, who knows? An extra second might actually save your life if there's a big effect uh, going on. AoE from a boss, um, just being swarmed, things like that. Uh, next thing I would highly recommend that you will be using a lot is your Blizzard. Um, you continuously chill enemies for 18% over eight seconds. It deals 120% damage. Um, you would want to enhance it with Enhanced Blizzard. Blizzard deals 25% increased damage to frozen enemies. Again, frozen. You pretty much want to apply frozen so you can apply more damage. And a lot of your enhanced mod or your modifiers on your skills will pretty much synergize off that. And then go into this one, cast above 50% or 50 mana. Blizzard duration is increased by four seconds. You're not going to use any of these abilities over here because uh, pretty much you can do all the damage you're gonna want with these couple like these are this is your this is a good chunk of damage or this is a good uh source of freezing people so you can put damage with blizzard and you can put damage with ice shards i like it a lot again it's a it's a freeze build i like it a lot some people might not but the whole point of getting this whole freeze mechanic built up with all these different abilities and again the survivability ability this is survivability ability that's a tongue twister. Um, and these are the real, this is the real damage. This is uh, kind of in between your out of mana. And this is some real damage right here. Um, but a lot of the damage you're gonna get kind of comes from this last part right here, this last uh, passive shatter. So after freeze expires, enemies explode for 25% of the damage you dealt to them while frozen. So not only are you freezing, say, a group or a mob, a whole bunch of enemies, all the damage that you've done to them while they were frozen, they explode and damage other enemies for 25% of that damage. So it's all about freezing enemies, dealing the damage while they're frozen, and watching them pop and damaging everything else. It's pretty much you're, you're creating, like, ticking time bombs for everything to just, like, cascade after that. 
so that's basically what this whole build is kind of building off of and then there's uh like le like legendary aspects and things like that and i'll have links to them if down below i'll talk to them at the end of this um that worked really well with this and there, there's some that i won't touch upon but i'll have links underneath that show like hey this might work with it um it's kind of really on your own so all these are these are these are ideas that i i found useful or i liked um or what i found in the community but again at the end of the day you can swap between some stuff if you like it better than others okay so the last aspect that i didn't talk about is more passives j just to make these core abilities work better and you can deal more damage so put one point into permafrost frost skills deal five percent increase damage to elites which is always nice right and then you're going to max out the icy touch you deal 12 percent increased damage to vulnerable enemies which happens when uh enemies are frozen <clears throat> excuse me uh you're going to max out horror frost which is nine nine percent increased damage to chilled enemies chilled you pretty much apply chilled like by the time you're 30 level 30 or by the time you're level 25 you're applying chilled like almost instantly with one one proc of not even proc one attack of ice shards um or even your your basic ability up here your frost bolt so this is really good um nine percent increased damage to chilled enemies and 18 percent increase to frozen enemies see how you see the synergy so you're dealing more damage to frozen enemies the more damage you deal to frozen enemies means that your your shatter passive is dealing more damage when that explodes or procs if you will and it, and it damages other enemies like it's th there's a lot of synergies with this and i and i like it i, I know a lot of people during um the betas and, and the server slam all went electricity because everyone wants to see like everyone wants to, everybody wants to crit things like that i don't know i don't like to just do what everyone's doing for the main purpose of you know i think this is the most optimal way of playing and i was like you know you want to try you want to try out all the different kind of builds but something I said in my other videos is that there's not a lot of synergies between elemental builds. So it's like if you're doing like a fire build, like there's not really a lot of synergies between like a fire and ice build or a fire and lightning build. There's not a lot of mixing between there. You may have like a, you may pretty much do like an all ice and then you might grab inferno here because this is just great damage or, you know, unstable currents, like things like that. Um, it's just, just stuff like that. So yeah and the last thing before i got sidetracked forgive me guys add <laughs> last thing here is uh another proc for lucky lucky hit this is great because now your lucky hit has two abilities that it can proc so cold damage against vulnerable enemies has up to a 20 percent chance to generate 15 mana so now you're even creating more ways to create to generate mana for your character you know cold damage against yeah so it, I don't think you need to wait to get this to get the increased lucky or lucky hit chance increase passive. I don't think you need to wait for this one before you can get that one. I think this this snap freeze is well enough by itself because you're instant. You have a nine percent chance to instantly freeze. I kind of like that. It just makes it more valuable, if you will, later in the later in your build. Um, so like I said, two of the aspects that I would recommend one is called aspect of, con of control you deal 30 percent you deal 30 to 40 percent more damage to immobilized stun or frozen enemies we love all that um which obviously works with our shatter and i'm just reading off of like a kind of like an index of of different aspects that people found um because the game's not out yet these forms aren't completely built you kind of have to like search on different stuff to find them and the other the second one that i highly recommend uh for your um for this build is is called consecrated aspect which deals 15 to 25 percent increased damage while you have a barrier active which also is great um so that's pretty much what i have um oh the last thing i just remembered again add uh last thing i just remembered so you'll get two uh what are they called enhancements enchantments excuse me you get two enchantments through this build you get one at 15 i believe and then one at 30 or maybe a little bit later the first one you're going to put into is this one so ice shards automatically conjure and fly towards enemy uh frozen enemies so when you freeze an enemy now you're using a free proc of a skill of this skill your main skill to damage enemies 
That's great. That's what you want to get at 15. And then at 30, you want to do this one, which direct damage from skills applies up to 15% chill, which is just building up that chill, building up that chance of vulner, uh, to apply vulnerability and frozen. Um, those are the two things that you will want to get for your enchantments. I believe you want to get two, uh, as it stands right now. Um, or I, I yeah, if, if that's not correct, you guys will correct me. But if, if you only get one, if you only get one enchantment, because uh, the, the beta and the server slam only went up to like 25, level 25 and level 20. So this is all theory crafting, if you will. It's the best part about an ARPG, right? An action RPG. It's the theory craft and kind of makes something that you think is unique and different and you find the synergies. Um, if you want to get one enchantment, go Ice Shard enchantment. Ice Shards automatically conjure and fly towards frozen enemies. I highly recommend that. Anyways, if you guys have any other builds that you want, want to see me do, I think I'm going to do uh, a lightning um, build or maybe even a summoner build uh, breakdown um, that's one of the builds I did which is basically making like having hydras up having ice blades up you know lightning spears things like that um, they even have oh I think they buffed like con uh, did they yeah I think they conjures had a buff in the last server slam let's see if they debuff that in launch on Thursday but um, if not um, I'll make that build and I'll put it out there because it's, if you just kind of have like a mainly conjure build and conjure is still highly, you know, buffed up there and the damage is still not nerfed. I mean, why not just abuse it while it's there, right? Anyways, appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. I will be live on twitch.tv slash Andy Mills if you want to watch the gameplay on the launch of Diablo 4. If not, I hope to see you guys in Sanctuary and have a good one. See you later. Bye.